Hey guys, I know it's a different angle. I hope you like it. Let's get right into the bean talk. So I made a poll the other day and it looks like lots of you love using canned beans over dried beans and I get it. I used to do that all the time as well, but there's just something about making beans fresh, the flavor, the softness, the creaminess that you get from freshly cooked beans that you just can't get from canned beans. So we're gonna make it unsoaked in the instant pot over here. I know we get urges to have beans in like salsas or curries or in chilies and we forget to soak it and now we are all in a panic. Don't worry, with the instant pot, it's not sponsored, but you can get great beans without soaking in just about under an hour. So here are the beans, hope you can see that. So here are the beans, some black total beans. What we're gonna do is quickly rinse it up. All right, and here they are. So we've completely washed it. And they look like they've kind of lit up. They are brighter, they are blacker. And now we're gonna put that in the instant pot. Just dump that right in there. Then fill this up until it's about one inch from the bottom. So that bottom line that you'll see on that side there, it should kind of touch that. I'm gonna add a touch more of water and we are good to go. And right now is actually a great time to season this because you can't season the beans after they're already cooked because it has absorbed all the water already. So I'm gonna add in some bay leaf, cinnamon, and a clove, but you can really add anything you want. But you can put anything you want that will season the water and then that will season the beans that are cooking. I would avoid putting dried spices, that's gonna be completely diluted, but whole spices that are aromatics are perfect. For those of you who saw my deli style chole recipe, I put tea leaves in the instant pot, cook the chickpeas to get them dark and get a nice intense flavor to make that spicy version of chickpeas. Now this is a great time to season your beans because you really can't season the beans afterwards because as I said, the beans absorbs the water and we have to season it before it's done hooking. Now just close the instant pot off, make sure the vent on the top is in sealing mode and not venting mode to help build the pressure and we'll set this on the bean and chili mode for about 23 minutes. Now, if you like your beans to be on the hotter side, then cook it for about 20, 21, 22 minutes. But if you want it softer, then let it cook for up to 25 minutes. And then when the timer has gone off, then you can either let the pressure release naturally for about 10 to 12 minutes and then release the rest of the pressure, or just let it release all the way through until the instant pot is safe to open. So this is a good segue while the beans cook for you to check out my page on my website all about beans and legumes. I'm always adding stuff to it and I really hope you find that useful because it really focuses a lot on how you can cook beans really well, more than black beans in the instant pot. And there are so many recipes that you can make with beans in the instant pot that are really great for you to try. Okay, so the beans are done. Let's take a look inside. So you can see how beautiful that water looks. And you can use this flavored water from the beans in all kinds of stuff. But before that, let's look at the beans. Just have a look there. And let's look at how soft these are. If I press it, it's perfectly soft. And that's how I like my beans. I don't like it when you have to kind of have a bite, then it has a bit of a, a bit of a bite like al dente pasta. And like these are more like kind of soft, delicious, waxy beans. That's how I like it. Now, depending on the kind of dish you're baking, you might want to adjust the doneness level of this. But for me, this level is perfectly fine every single time. And just to show you what you can do with these beans, I'm going to make a quick salsa with some green chilies, some onion, some cilantro, super delicious. You can have it with tacos, in burrito, in like taco bowls. There's just so much that you can do with it. And for those of you who've subscribed already and follow me on my website, you know that I've used these beans on my sheet pan chicken nacho recipe 
and on my quesadillas. For those of you who haven't checked it out, check that out down below along with the recipe for a quick bean salsa. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, guys.